This video is sponsored by Motion VFX. It's yet again that time where we show you five Mac apps for the month of August 2020 that we think you should check out. Before we get started, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell to get notifications whenever we share a video. This month, we have some pretty simple but also incredible useful utilities to talk about, and one that I'm loving right now is MacDroid. I'm not sure how many of you out there own a Mac and an Android phone, but I'd imagine there's a lot of you who could possibly use this very simple yet effective tool to transfer data to and from your Mac with your Android phone. The process is simple. Simply plug in your device to your Mac and either select File Transfer if you want to just transfer data from your phone to your Mac, like photos or videos, or you can head into Settings and turn on USB Debugging in order to get your device into ADB mode. This will allow many other possibilities, but most importantly, it gives you the ability to transfer content from your Mac to your phone and not just from your phone to your Mac. The only downside is, is that it is a subscription-based app, but it does come in at a pretty reasonable $20 a year. So if you're like me and you miss AirDrop every time you use Android and just need to get some photos or videos from your device to your Mac, this is honestly the best way that I've come across so far. This next app might take you back a bit with its look and feel, but it's a pretty cool way to discover new music, and it's called Poolside. Poolside is the super summery feeling music player for your Mac that's inspired by the old Mac days with its simplistic and retro design. The music that's curated is fantastic and is definitely perfect for this time of year. You can choose between a few different channels or genres of music, skip and save tracks, and if you click on the name of the artist or song title, you'll automatically be transported to that artist's SoundCloud page, which is a nice touch. There's a settings tab that lets you adjust which pastel color the music player will appear in, and all in all, it's just a really simple, cool app that's free to download and offers up some new music with an old retro look and feel to it. This next app is actually pretty incredible, and it's called Tech Sniper. Tech Sniper is an app that can quickly capture unselectable text from things like presentations, trainings, screencasts, videos, pictures, etc. It will then convert that text into editable text, and that's really it. It sounds simple because it is simple. So for a real world example, a lot of you out there might be doing some remote online learning for this school year, and if some text on screen comes up that you have to write down or type up, you no longer need to do all of that. Just head into your menu bar or use the keyboard shortcut to activate Text Sniper. And then just like how you would select an area for a screenshot, you select the text on the screen with the same tool and it's automatically copied to your clipboard. Feel free to paste that text into any document. There might be some small formatting issues depending on what you're selecting, but it's all really easy to fix. And in my opinion, it's still a lot faster than having to type everything out. So give it a shot, it's only $5. Next up is an app called Tuck, and I know we've worked with a lot of window management, resizing, positioning apps like this one before, but this is a little bit different. Tuck lives in your menu bar with a few simple keyboard commands, which can allow users to easily send app windows to any portion of your screen, and it tucks it away. You can easily access the window again by hovering your mouse over the area in which the app was tucked into, and if you hover back over again, it will automatically hide that app or tuck it away again. This will remain the case until you physically click and drag that window out of its tucked location. It's a pretty easy way to hide all of the apps when you don't need them, and even easier to quickly access them when you do. Our last app is called Panelicious, which much like Tuck, is designed to help you reduce clutter, but also give you access to files or apps via custom panels. The app is really simple. There are a few customization options for each panel when you initially create them, but that's really it. You can adjust the size and location for each panel, as well as what apps, files, etc., are located inside of each panel. Then to toggle visibility, you can just select that option in the menu bar, but other than that, that panel will just sit in its location for quick access to those apps or files that you might need at any time. And it's completely free and available in the App Store, so feel free to give it a shot. Now, before we end today's video, I do want to give you more information about today's sponsor, Motion VFX. If you haven't heard of Motion VFX yet and you're a content creator, well, buckle up because your life is about to get a lot easier. You might have seen some fancy animations or graphics popping up throughout most of our videos, and as much as I would like to say I created those beautiful transitions or animations myself, well, I really didn't. Work smarter, not harder, with over hundreds of different plugins and templates from Motion VFX. They are hands down the best resource for Final Cut Pro 10 and Motion plugins and templates. 
Installing a plugin is as easy as a one click from the Motion VFX menu bar app, and customizing these plugins all takes place directly inside of Final Cut Pro. Just drag and drop your effect or transition into your timeline and edit that from the inspector window. It's that easy. If you want a recommendation on what plugins to check out, I would start with the M Lowers and M Transition Mega Packs. These are some of the best transitions and lower third graphics around, and there are so many of them, hence the name Mega Packs, that you can choose from to add to your videos and take it to the next level and add that unique look and feel. Honestly, I use these plugins every day, and they are a huge tool for helping me create content faster and easier. For more information about Motion VFX and the bundles that we recommended, you can click the link in the description down below. This has been Dan with Mac Rumors. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope to see you around in the next video.